with a banger. So, we're making our own cologne today, okay? So, we're going to be combining all of our ingredients right here into this container. And you know me, we're going to let it marinate for a couple weeks, a month, who knows how long. And then we're going to open it up and maybe later we're going to try it out, see how well it does. I have pretty high hopes for this though. I picked out only the highest quality ingredients to make the best possible fragrance. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, for our first item, we gotta start it off light and easy, something that's gonna be the background or the backbone, I should say, for our fragrance. It's gonna be our primary note. I got some pine. This nice little pine wood. Just something light, something fresh. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and put just a little bit, only a couple of these branches. Okay, we don't want too much again. We don't want to have one thing overpowering the whole fragrance because that could ruin it. So, there we go. We're going to go ahead and squeeze this in just like so. So, that's going to be as the background as a bit of an extra background note. I got some pine leaves. Spice. 
spices. How about that? One spice I really wanted to put in here, one of my favorites in fragrances. I got some black pepper. You might think this, is this a Gordon Ramsay episode? Am I watching this guy cook? You're watching me cook up something, I'll tell you that. We're cooking up a masterpiece today. There we go. Let's just sprinkle some in here. There we go, not too much. Perfect. Okay, maybe let's try pouring it. Here we go. Not too much, just gotta be careful. Not too much, not too much. Here we go, get that all around there. Oh yeah, that looks like more than enough. Just a little bit, not too much. 
I may or may not be making mustard gas. I guess we'll find out. There we go, boys. The WD-40 is in. And finally, our final ingredient. Everybody knows that you can't make cologne without See you later.